<laughs> that just moves us into the next conversations, the next topics. Because I did bring up Logan Paul getting $20 million for fighting. I don't even know if this is with the pay-per-view splits or whatever. I don't know if this is guaranteed just for showing up. But the report is he got $20 million. So the heavyweight champion of the UFC does not seem to like that. Francis Ngannou was like, how did he – he's making 20 we're making this, but he's 0-1 uh, and, and we're super heavyweight. What's going on here? This is how I look at it. I don't, I don't know if this is true. So anybody who's like UFC aficionados, boxing aficionados, you can correct me. But the UFC isn't um, – it's a promotion company, right? It's not like a – I'm not explaining it. Like Mayweather is Mayweather promotion, so UFC is like that. It's just, I don't it could be, like this is what I'm saying. Like, okay, Mayweather promotion is a company that promotes fights, right? And then they book their fights under Showtime, right? So UFC is a promotion company. It's just not called UFC Promotions, and they book their fights with ESPN. So there's a person that shows the fights, then there's the promotion company, and then there's how the fighters get paid, correct? So Floyd Mayweather obviously is going to get the most money. Because he owns his promotion company. He doesn't have to like split through five, six, eight, ten, twelve different people to get his money. That's why his shit be hundred million, twenty million, whatever it is. And the UFC fighters, y'all should trickle down. Y'all got a bunch of people fighting on the undercard, a lot of people fighting on here. I don't know if y'all supposed to get twenty million dollars. I know Connor does, but also loving Ganu, maybe he could get it for the John Jones fight. Maybe they can sell out like that. Maybe they need to go to Dubai because I remember reading somewhere that the only reason Khabib gets so much money in the latter part of his career because he was fighting in Dubai and them Dubai, you know, them sheiks and them, you know, all them dudes, they bringing up that bag to have Khabib come in there and fight. Because if he would have fought in America, the bag, not to say it would have been light, Khabib would have commanded a hefty sum of money in America. But, you know, with the help of the, you know, the Emirati, whatever the hell they, you know, they got the money, right? So it is interesting, though, because a lot of UFC fighters are bringing this stuff up. A lot of UFC fighters are trying to dabble in their in, in, the, in the boxing lane. Uh, you even saw Tyron Woodley even brought up, he said, he said this is going to be his biggest payday. He said fighting Jake Paul, the YouTuber, is going to be his biggest payday. Biggest. One fight. That's why I don't get like other people. Oh, it's a disgrace. So oh, is this is that? Like, dog, forget all that. Tyron Willie was a five-time world champion, right? Then he got his ass whooped by Kamara Usman. He got his ass beat by Victor Lique. He has ass beat by Kobe Covington. He has ass beat by whoever else he lost. I remember who third. He lost four in a row. What did he got to lose? They done moved on. They're, they're, like, it was Tyron Willie was like this great welterweight. He was amazing, whatever. It was J- St. Pierre, Tyron Willie. Then Kamaro came in. Come on, 14 win streak. Now they give a fuck about this. George St. Pierre, Kamaro Usman. They ain't even talking about Willie no more. Because Willie did, wasn't able to bow gracefully. Like, lose to Kamaro, maybe win the next one. Be like, all right, y'all, I'm out. Peace. He lost four in a row and he's done. So they ain't even talking about uh, Tyron Willie. Is Tyron Willie disgraced to boxing, to MMA, to whatever? Now get the fucking bag. That's the wrong, people. A lot of people in there be talking. I'm always talking about people in there because this is when you see it on the internet. A lot of people be talking shit about shit that they would do. If I was a five-time UFC champion, and you about to tell me, right, I'm retired, we're going to give you the biggest bag you've ever gotten. I don't know what the bag is. I say, let's say it's $6 million. Let's say you make it $6 million. To fight Jake Paul. Now, Jake Paul been looking nice, all right? Okay, he boom, Ben Askren. Ben Askren's not a striker. Boom, Nate Robinson, they didn't know what the hell was going on. The other guy, I don't remember what the other guy's name is, Gib, Freddie, something, not Freddie Gib, but, you know, Gibby, whatever his name was, whooped his ass. The only person who gave Jake Paul a hard time was Deji. That's who the fuck he need a rematch. If you don't know Deji, go watch. Deji had the bloody lip. Now, Jake Paul, this was early, the training, whatever. Deji was the only one who, who, who put the hands on him. I ain't going to lie to you. But the main point of all this is UFC guys, don't shit on these guys because, honestly, it's probably a lot of bitterness. They're looking at shit like, okay, why the fuck am I only making $100,000, right? Like, why am I making $100,000 to, to get in this cage of death? I need some water. 
Ain't like boxing where it's like, get up in there. Boom, boom. Like, you can get knocked out in boxing, obviously. But it's not you. UFC is like, you know why UFC is so more interesting than any other sport to me? First of all, they do a great job promoting the fighters. They do a great job at that, right? They have motherfuckers on these embedded series who are like, oh, they're like the 10th ranked featherweight, and they've, they've won the last two, you know what I'm saying, or they're coming out for redemption. I don't know who the hell they are, but I'm engaged, and I'm ready. When they're fighting, I don't know who they are. I'm watching it. Boxing, they don't do that. There's nobody in boxing that's like the 10th-ranked featherweight of the WBC or whatever the hell they got that I give a fuck about. UFC, there's probably 10th-ranked featherweight that I'm like, I'm interested in watching that guy fight. So they do a great job of promotion, right? What, else, what, what was my point? They do a great job of promotion. They do this, they do that. But as far as the money, if you ain't McGregor and you ain't Khabib fighting in the Emirates, the bag ain't there for you. Are you producing the pay-per-view numbers that you're supposed to produce? That's the thing. Can you be a big draw? Are you a big draw? Or are you doing pay-per-views and you're only doing 500000 If you're doing 500000 okay, great. You're going to get paid 800000 Because you see after all these UFC fights, these pi- these fighter pays come out, it's like, boom, he got paid one point five. Boom, he got paid one point two. I mean, you weren't draw. You weren't the draw. When 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 Jake Paul lies, when I, I don't know, with the trilogy shit with him and Ben Askren says, they, generate, they generated $65 million. And Triller is just putting on the fight. They're the promoter, but Jake Paul is obviously the steamroller. He is the one with the audience. He's going to get the, the lion's share of that money. He's going to get $20 million of that. He's going to get just because he is the person. Social media is a new wave. Now, I know fighters, they're probably like in solace. They're calm. They're disciplined or whatever, so they don't look at social media as an avenue that they really want to go down and adventure in. But if you want to be <laughs> on that level, that's what you got to do. But anyways... Let's get to some other shit, man. Let's get, let's get let's move on from the MMA. Let's move on from the boxing. Salute to Logan. Salute to Floyd. I liked it. It was enjoyable to me.